Hi viewers, today you will learn through a super fast method to extract time series Copernicus ECMWF data from a NetCDF file for your region of interest. For this demo, we will use Pakistan as an example and focus on the total precipitation variable. But don't worry, you can follow the exact same steps for any region by simply using your own shape file. NetCDF files, you know, may seem intimidating because of their multidimensional structure, but I will break down into a clear step-by-step -step workflow. By the end, you will know how to generate both maps and time series plots during directly from the script no extra editing software required so let's go uh, to open this website uh, i will teach you the link i will be provided in the description and then you can just copy and paste follow the steps that I am doing right now that will directly take you on the variable that we are looking for just click on it this is the overview of the data its resolution is 9 kilometer and today we are working on total precipitation drag it on T and you will find total precipitation and don't mix it with rainfall you can read this one carefully then go back to download click on monthly average reanalysis and drag down to total precipitation this time the script is new it does not uh, this uh, previous script that uh, that i work on it was two meter temperature that script is different and this script is different don't mix it select all years all months yeah you can use sub region extraction it will give you with small size of net cdf file how i can find north west east and south so open r it is very easy to find north west east and south just set working directory open it and i show you uh, yeah firstly i need to uh, show you how we can download pakistan shape file then i will uh, uh, show you how we can uh, extract north west east and south mm. i don't know uh, in this website you can find the updated uh, pakistan shape file but uh, i am showing you as an example you can use it updated shape file for your own region of country yes just go to country and Pakistan, where is Pakistan? This one and download shape file. Okay, I already have downloaded it. You can see here, just extract here. Yeah, you can find all the shape files and I will provide the script in the description link. One second, sorry. Uh, 
copy paste yes run the library of Terra that is our shape file convert into vector set the bounding box extract coordinates that we are looking for west east south north just run it and you can find west yeah you can just copy paste west like this one and east just copy find the east east then south then north yeah. select net cdf file and register it if you did not register it and submit it and you see i have downloaded the file which is only 56.33 mb if you did not subset it the whole global file is 4.45 GB it's up to you and then open new R script and paste it uh, yes Place both NetCDF file and shape file in the same directory for easy access. We already launched R and set the directory and also follow the steps that is shown in the tutorial. And in the end, please don't forget to sub subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Yes, just load the libraries. in a one click and read the shape file extract bounding box and then this is our data shape file I can show you yeah, this one you just copy and paste it over there set for output Next CDF file and you will crop your net CDF file by using Didal utilities. Just run this script and it will take within a seconds to process to complete the process. See, it does not take too much time. Read the shape file again and reproject it. Load the cropped error error five raster. It is this one. That is also in our directory. You can copy paste. It's up to you, or just write out underscore nc. That will also load the crop file crop and mask you will see it will complete the process within a seconds run the crop and mask and assign monthly dates to layers you see it does not take time the, this script is different compared to the previous script don't remix it 
assign monthly dates to layers firstly uh, we should print out our spot raster to find the resolution extent coordinate source names minimum maximum value a unit is meter just run this script then convert raster to long data table <coughs> and then convert date column and time component and then format into as wait a second as i already mentioned that in my previous videos i will not trim the video i will show you the real uh, time video how much time is taken to complete the process and you can also note my time over here uh wait for a seconds few more seconds it will complete yes convert into year months oh sorry then months and abbreviated month names yes it has converted into years now we are going to convert into months and abbreviated the months names wait for a second in the next step we will aggregate monthly means across years let's wait to finish this process for abbreviating the month names yes just click it ah yes now you are finalize the map uh set the minimum and maximum values break with n is equal to 18 i have uh, made it here two types of color palette it ups to you which one you will like it you can also combine multiple palette firstly i show you with only one color palette then i will show it with you with multiple color palettes it's up to you which one you like it most just create a map there is no need to change anything everything is working perfectly fine just click on it and i show you the map for this color palette this color palette then i will show you for the combined color palette you can watch in the plot area for this color palette yeah you can see that and if you want to uh, combine the 
मल्टीपल पैलेट जस्ट रन इट एंड देन प्लॉट इट दिस टाइम यू विल फाइंड ए कम्बाइंड मल्टीपल पैलेट yeah you can see this one is different it ups to, it ups to you and create line plots just click and run it this script uh, the pro, uh, the purpose of making this video is that you don't need to edit your image into different softwares like in photoshop so i have made all the things that is ready to use in your thesis or in your manuscript or in your reports and in the end you should save this plot you should save it as combined plot and you will find your final plot over here how does it look like see so uh, what does uh, it means that for total precipitation in meter this data set represent the total amount of water that has evaporated from the land surface into the atmosphere during each accumulation period it includes both direct evaporation from soil and water bodies and transpire and transpiration from vegetation values are expressed in meters of water you see meters of water which can be converted into millimeter it ups to you for easier interpretation for example a value of 0.001 correspond to 1 millimeter of evaporated water so guys see you in the next video please don't forget to subscribe the channel for more tutorial